Alrighty. Hello everyone. I know it's been a long hiatus. I've uh, been dealing with a combination of finals week as well as uh, some personal stuff and uh, just haven't really had a lot of time. So I'm um, sorry for that, but I'm very, very happy to say that I'm back. Should be regular upload schedule from here on out. So. In this one, we are uh, playing some Trundle in the top lane with some recent buffs. It's getting a lot more popular, which I'm kind of upset about since I always played it kind of when it was off meta. But uh, I'm not going to stop playing the champ I love just because uh, everyone else is playing it too. So we don't have lethal tempo, um, so we're probably not going to go for a level one trade. We're going to be looking to short trade him. Trade in there, wait for another grasp stack. Yeah, he has more range than to do. We're gonna back off while he has that. He has a stronger level one than we do, sadly. We're, we're going for scaling split push. That's our main thing. We just can't let him keep landing Qs on us. He's about to level two, so we kinda have to be careful as soon as that for minion dies. Uh, as soon as this minion dies, we're two as well, though. It doesn't really matter that I'm giving up farm here. I don't want to in for it. Okay. That's fine. I'm actually still out farming him assuming we get these minions. Uh, we started Cole just because this is not going to be like a kill lane. That's why I didn't run lethal tempo either. What is that dash speed? Did they change that? I was not ready for that. He like was on top of me before I could even react to it. We're gonna hit this once so we can get it. We're gonna hit this one down. We queued for the extra AD. And we're not able to get that one, but that's okay. Should hit this one, we're gonna queue onto that. Not quite able to get that one there. We messed it up a little bit, but it's not the biggest deal. We're actually still out farming him. Uh, he's definitely getting topside vision. We're gonna slow push this. Honestly, I wish I didn't hit that one. Really? I guess I should have queued first. But, uh, either way, I'm pretty rusty. I haven't played in a while, so please excuse my mechanics as I kind of get back into it. I've always been more of a macro-focused player anyways. He did take a recall. Okay. Well, now I have level advantage. So, like, and we're in wave. We can just fight him. We're just gonna slow him. Really? I tried to sidestep and it didn't work. For some reason, I'm just dead. Um, that's really unfortunate. We're just gonna keep running around waiting for Lee Sin to get here. We're dead here either way, but we might be able to get something off. As long as he kills Cassante. Please tell me he kills Cassante. Thank god. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna TP back in. We're gonna buy a refill potion, too. Yeah, we were able to waste enough time there. Um, it's just sad that it turned out the way it did. I'm gonna pretend like I'm not here, I think. Uh, it's fine. Um, we just don't want to miss any extra EXP. What is that stun duration, man? Dude, this champion's not okay. Honestly, straight up, not okay. The things that he can do. We're gonna be going probably for a Sunder. We're gonna W for the extra healing and extra move speed out of base. I'm gonna be recalled there, by the way, just to get health back and the wave slow pushing. Although his wave clears, man, this champion's got everything. Like, his dueling strength is not okay. His wave clear is not okay. His scaling is not okay for how good he is early game. It's pretty absurd that the just sheer amount of things that he can do. And that's the essence of 200 years for you. We're gonna slow push this. Normally I would want to fast push it, but his wave clear is better than mine. So it's not gonna matter if I try and fast push it, especially since it's a cannon wave. So we're just gonna last hit. 
try to deny him a little more. We should hit level 6 first. Although maybe not, because I had a wave stocked up, and I think I might have lost more from the death than he did. Both 0 and 1, though, so... Dude, this guy's pissing me off. We have the wave advantage, so we gotta play with it. Oh, no, I didn't. I misclicked. You're joking. I don't have R. I screwed myself. Nah, I have to wait till level 7 to do anything. He doesn't know that I don't have R, though. So maybe he'll back off. Uh, you're joking, man. This is so unfortunate. We're just gonna ping. If he's gonna camp, we need to trade something for it. Average top lane experience, I suppose. We're gonna drop a control ward. I need to play more towards vision. I'm really rusty, but it's definitely not the end of the world. I mean, me not leveling ulti there, I probably wouldn't be able to just kill Cassante if I had ultimate. I actually I have my um, my level upgrades bounded to V, B, N, and M, so I can hit them really quick in the middle of fights, um, and I actually hit N instead of M, so I didn't get the level up on the right ability. Although we get freeze on him here. I'm gonna pop a pot. Just gonna bite him. Just gonna bite him. <laughs> Just gonna keep it out. Really? Don't tell me he's gonna stay this camp, dude. <laughs> I'm pissing him off either way. It's my goal. If I actually... There we go, now I have ultimate. I can absolutely fight him. My team did take the dragon, thank god. Oh, Aphelios did come back, okay. He instantly reconnected. I'm kind of... Mm. It's unfortunate. I don't know if I can... Oh, I can come down. That's gonna be a good fight for us. I'm just gonna beat him up here. We're not gonna try and chase him down. Cool. We run down for the kill. Our wave's kind of fucked, but it doesn't matter that much. Xante is alive, and we need to shove in this next one. But we don't also don't have ultimate, so it's going to get a little risky. Um, we're just going to have to try and do what we can. We don't have a lot of damage right now, because we don't have Sheen yet. Every time I've backed, it's been an awkward amount of gold. He can't freeze that. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna clear it. Cool. We're just gonna recall here. Now we can finally buy our Sheen. And a Longsword. We're gonna wait just because we don't want to waste more mana to use our W. Okay. We're gonna have Teleport for 40 seconds. He's probably gonna get Crash here. He, it seems like he roams a lot though, so I don't think he's gonna take a plate for it. Oh no, he will. Okay. Well, he's actually smart this time. That's okay. I'm getting one plate, it's not the end of the world. Once we get our Sunderer, we're gonna out-trade him really hard. Really not that worried about stuff like farm. Which sounds weird to say, but... People don't realize they get all hung up on... Trying to make sure that... You're, um... We're gonna go that bush. Let me get his flash. Okay. Well, we don't have R and he does, but we're also pushing. So I'm going to ping on my way over to the Drake pit, or Rift Herald pit, rather. And beat on him here a little bit. The lower we can get him, the easier this fight will be. 
I don't have a lot of mana. This is my guy. It's been auto battle. Okay. Cool. I have teleport, so I'm gonna get out of here. Ooh, why is there a Twitch up here? Huh? Now we have to wait till the stupid passive stacks are off to recall. Oh my god. Dude, just. Oh my god, the Leandries. Just let me recall. I'm gonna freeze it on me. Get really does not want to be frozen on. It's not even like it's gonna do that much for me. Honestly. Like he doesn't have to fight this hard to break the freeze every time. Or to prevent the freeze rather. Like he's kinda hmm, I tried to sidestep that. That was a little suspicious. We have the extra AD from Q, so this is a breeze. Now we're gonna recall. Uh, if I stay and get a little bit more gold. Oh, and I guess that's why he was uh, doing this thing. I have ghost, I don't die. Doesn't matter. Although now I definitely have recall. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna be able to kill the tower, so it's whatever, I guess. Cool. Oh, wow, there's three people up there, so I'm not gonna TP back. They can have my tower. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this Twitch is doing. We're gonna save our TP and get enough gold for Thunderer after I on my tower, and then we're gonna TP back. They don't even get a second charge because we used the Herald too early. So, they, that was a pretty bad play by them, honestly. They could have gotten an extra tower charge if they had just uh, thought a little harder about what they were doing. Okay, we get a pillar assist. Take that one. I don't know what this Karthus thinks he's doing. I forgot to mention, I'm on my alt account, so this is uh, high gold, low platinum elo. I guess that's why they're uh, doing such foolish things. My game sense is definitely really good. Um, you know, people always criticize others for smurfing. I don't really see this as smurfing. I know that my mechanics are pretty strong and my game sense is pretty good, but you know, first off, I'm rusty. Um, and most of what I've climbed diamond on was um, support. So playing a role like top lane, I feel like I probably am right now a low platinum top laner. We interrupt his uh, dash forward. The switch is just perma roaming now. Yeah, we're gonna grab that. And we wanna start building towards Ravenous. Ravenous for the healing and the wave clear. It's gonna be pretty essential. Probably gonna grab a team mat and then maybe build into a hullbreaker. Um, that way, since we do have overgrowth and grasp, we could look to um, to go for a Titanic as well. The extra AD might just uh, do better for us. I do have TP, so I can join that uh, fight down there if needed. It really kind of hurts to not have some attack speed. I have to look into that. Probably maybe a Wits. Wits End would be really good, I think. Actually, they have two really good AP carries. Man. So annoying. We're going to pressure this top turret, considering that Asante's not here. Um, I could TP into this fight, but honestly, I don't think I want to. Even if it would, like, potentially save the fight for my team. Which I don't think it would, for the record. Um, but I really need to get my side lane push up, and you know. I haven't used Demolish once this game because they've been perma topside. top side, so me taking down the turret's really valuable here. Just for my game. But you gotta play a little selfishly if you wanna win, so. Ooh, I ought to talk that one too soon, but we did just finish Cole. Big spike for us. We actually have an extra point E still, which is super aggravating, but that's our team at. And then we're gonna, uh, let me bot please. I can take tier one easy. Thank you. They're actually listening to me. Now that I got team hot, it's time for probably Hellbreaker. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. I could just build right into wits. 
And that might actually suit me, because these two are going to scale into crazy high AP damage. I might need, like, a Force of Nature after as well. Twitch is missing. Twitch is alive. It doesn't really matter. I still have Ghost in R. He's, he can't kill me right now. Your team has destroyed a turret. Cool. We're just going to pressure this tier 2. Or tier 1, rather. We don't even need Demolish to take this, I don't think. Yeah, might as well. It's not going to hold out and take extra time to take down the turret. We're going to pressure the map since Cassante's top. Cassante is not playing against this split push well at all. Man, I'm really used to having more attack speed. I normally take like Alacrity. Um, my autos are kind of all over the place. Are we really not going to send? Wow, yeah, macro is bad. Normally I, I would have to rotate mid by now, but um, they just aren't minding me. I'm not totally, actually I'm not going to die for this. I don't even die for that. That's really funny. We don't need to. We don't need to fight this. Although, if this guy wants to be an idiot, then yeah, we'll fight this. Okay, man. Another yeah, Twitch is trolling pretty hard. Cool. Okay, fine. All, all the time. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll stick around. Cool. I don't really want to stay at all. Uh, hard to say what I should build. I'm gonna stay for one more minion wave, I think, actually. The extra minion wave's worth of gold would give me something good. Either Hole Breaker or Wits. Okay, that's all I needed. Now if I sell my coal and refill, I can get hole breaker. Wits is probably a stretch, but I'll grab the, the hole breaker. That'll be good. Oh, I don't actually need to sell refills, so I won't. Um, next objective is dragon. I'm going to head top. I don't think there's going to be a huge fight over Rift Herald. It's only got a minute left. I think I'd rather just be there to pressure top. You can see I've taken the majority of the towers this game. My team's doing really well playing for mid, but um, I've definitely done a lot of work towers-wise. Uh, I need to get Pryo up here first before we fight this. I'm really not scared of him. If he does come out, it really won't affect my decisions here very much at all. Okay, now with Cassante and Twitch and Karthus. We're just going to block the Karthus from coming in. Cool. We don't really want to fight up here. Just go for Dragon. Just go for Dragon. We, okay. Apparently we are going to fight up here for some reason. We're just going to look to get our gold. We don't We don't want to fight here, y'all. Just, just play for this. He's a really short death timer. Just play for this. Forget that stupid party thing exists. And, and we kill him. He's being a dum dum. And we're gonna go ahead and pop our refills just for some extra health. He does have anti heal now. I probably should have waited, but it's not a huge deal. Oh, whoops. Forgot there was still a tier 2 here. Doesn't matter, so it won't be for long. I canceled my auto again, but it doesn't really matter. Trundle's just a monster at taking turrets. Kind of like unhealthy levels, especially with the hole breaker, but even without it. Like, just my demolish has done so much. I'm just gonna take this down. You can't stop me. I think I just still 1v1 him afterwards, too. Oh, yeah, he dashes through it. That's fine. We just take down this now. Cool. I think I still just win. Cool. And that's the power of Trundle Top. <laughs> okay, now we really gotta leave. Um, we're gonna head bot now. Oh, okay, never mind. They're just gonna surrender. Good game, y'all. 
good game. Yeah, I mean, their Twitch was trolling, but you can see how even top lane pressure we were able to find our way back into the match. So let's take a look at the, uh, the stats on that one, and we'll uh, close this one out. Plus 30 LP. Dang, I forgot my MMR is pretty still high on this account. Um, cool. Let's go to advanced details. If we look at damage dealt the champions, we actually had more than everyone but Karthus, and Karthus had first strike and Leandris, so that totally makes sense. Um, let's look at healing done. Good amount. Uh, we definitely didn't have very good vision score, but let's look at... Can I see turret damage? Oh yeah, by far highest. 15,000 damage. Wherever, the high, next highest was 3,000. So you can see how we basically broke open the base nearly single-handedly there. Um, and won us the match. Even if they didn't surrender, it would have been pretty free at that point. Because I was able to just go bot lane um, and run through their base without anyone able to stop me. So... So that gives you an idea of um, some good top lane macro. There you go. Anyways, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm very glad to be back. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.